I will end my message on this note. We mothers are home builders. Hence, we should represent righteousness. Let us at all times be submissive and faithful to our husbands. By so doing, we will affect the lives of our children positively. Charity, they say, begins at home. Glory to God. Amen. That message was from our sister, Mrs. Teresa Okoye. Before we conclude today's meeting, I want the secretary to announce the name of people penciled down for this year's biennial confinement of Good Mothers of Faith Award titled Ezine Kukwe, which will be coming up on the 27th of August at St. Faith Cathedral. Secretary, over to you. Ndine mama Ndine mazonu mao If you hear your name, please indicate your presence. Uju Anwoka. Mary Jane Okapo. Henrietta Oji. Teresa Okoye. Matilda Onkwe. The last, but not the least, Nkiru Ikeme. These are our nominees for this year's conferment of Good Mother of Faith. Thank you. <laughs> Lady Bridget, let's hear you. Members of the executives, CWO members, yes. I greet you all. Thank you. I am very disappointed over the manner in which this list was formed. I, I will not challenge it, but I want to remind you all that this selection is not based on merit at all.
I don't like this. I say, don't worry. Am I not the sector of this? <gasps> Let's go. Madam Bridget's name could have been in places. She was really upset. Forget about Bridget. She got whatever she deserved. How do you mean, Lady Carl? How do I mean? You don't see her in the church? That woman is so pompous, so arrogant, she's completely full of herself. She thinks everything must revolve around her. Why? I should lodge it over everybody. No. Listen, even if there were to be a second list, I promise you her name would not be on it. It's just that I feel for her. Feel for her? Yeah. Well, don't feel for her. Listen, I take the decision. The box stops on my table, and I say she doesn't go. I was personally marveled when my name was mentioned because I know I do not deserve it. At least not now. Mm. You're a very lucky woman. You just found favor in my eyes. I liked you from day one. You are lucky, I say, because I am the assistant chairman of the CWO. And I take the decisions, and whatever I decide stands. Eh? <laughs> and if you don't know it already, we play some politics in this church. I can see. <laughs> and I'm on top of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you in any case. You Thank you welcome. very much. You are welcome. You have, a, you have been a wonderful person. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. To God be the glory. <laughs> Lady Cal, I will not fail to bring my husband to the house. We must come and show appreciation for this wonderful gesture. You have to do all that. Yes, I have to. And please, 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 don't stop me. Okay. <laughs> if you want to, then I, I won't stop I you. very much want to. But come, I'm sure you don't have a ride. I don't. So let me give you a ride home. Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. women pay huge amounts of money just to get that title. Ah, who said? Well, we are usually lucky in our family. Oh, you can say that again. I don't come with that at all. Don't go there at all, at all. As far as I'm concerned, whatever one achieves in life is due to God's favor. Well, to me, luck and favor are one and the same thing. They are not, honey. They are not. You see, I have told you, you have to get closer to God. Moreover, you have to make more time for church activities. Well, that's a very difficult proposition. You know the nature of my business. Businessman. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that. Uh, may I have my own dance now? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the music. <laughs> John, 
Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Um, but I, I went to a friend's house. And you stayed out this late? I have warned you time and time again about coming back late. Don't make me get angry with you, otherwise you'll have it hot with me. Please. Please. I don't want your mood to change because I won't like it. Please go, calm down. Eh? Calm down. You, Johnny. You have to listen to your brother's advice. Eh? Besides, it's not even safe to keep late nights. Come home first, after every day's business. Then you can go out again. Come and join us in the of finance in our CW. I single-handedly bought the musical equipment we use. Eh? I also provided half the money used in purchase our evangelizing bus. And many more. Eh? I, I was surprised that I did not hear my name among the candidates of the next Good Mothers of Faith installation. Eh? Bridget, it is very true that I'm the chairperson of the CW. But I was not the one who prepared that list. It was an unanimous decision and choice of the entire executive members. Furthermore, financial input of those members were not part of the criteria used for the selection. What criteria do you use? As in, what criteria do you use? I spend my money, my time, and everything just to make sure that the CW in our parish does not lag behind. Instead of you people to show appreciation, you went and selected some unproductive members for the title. Oh, uh, well, Bridget, like I said earlier, the selection was based on the level of commitments and devotedness of those members in the service of God. So what you are saying is I'm a hypocrite, eh? Uh, not at all, Bridget. I didn't say so. Then why do you people leave me out? When the lives of uh, uh, Hereta Oji, we are favored. The most painful of all is the inclusion of Tessie, okay? For all I know, Tessie is not in any way qualified for that title. She's not up to, up to 10 years in our, in our parish. Eh? Most, most of all, she's buried. What? Bridget, what did you just say? Oh my God. How should you call your fellow Christian Baron? That Tessie has been married for eight years without a child doesn't mean she cannot bear fruit. And listen, when it is God appointed time, mm -hmm. she will have her own children. That's not my concern. What I'm saying is that I'm disappointed. Though my spirit is low, but it will not make me withdraw my membership. At all, it will not make me to withdraw my membership. Um, Bridget, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> After all, this is not the end of the world. Tomorrow might be your own turn. Thank you. I have heard you. And you are welcome.
Mrs. Okoye? That's in normal. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Uh, what are you doing with those things? I came to clean the church too. But it is not the turn of your group to clean the church. I know. I just want to do it on my own. Oh my God. I have even finished working in the church. I want to see if I can help them outside here. You are blessed. Thank you. you are blessed. Thank you. Oh, to the DJs. And there, there, there. <laughs> It's all about the national population census. Oh. I forgot to tell you what happened in the church yesterday. What happened? One of our CWO members ran into the church crying. Crying? Yeah. What for? She said her husband came home drunk and decided to take it out on her. That's very unfair. What did you people do about it? Two people were sent to her house. Myself and Mrs. Odita. When we got there, we met her husband snoring fast asleep by the balcony. <laughs> snoring on the balcony? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I hope you're not referring to Peter and his wife Mary. Who else am I referring to? Oh. They're the ones, of course. <laughs> How very unfortunate, Peter. Some people don't know how destructive alcohol can be. Mm -hmm. And that excess of it can cause death. Peter, Peter. <laughs> oh. In fact, I thank God for giving me a husband like you. <laughs> <laughs> And you the best. I'm Thank proud you. of you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Michael, she sent for me. I heard John, yes. Um, John, I invited you here because um, I've been watching your behavior these last few months. I am your elder brother and it is my duty to correct you when you're going wrong. But the way you're approaching things is wrong. Nelson has just assured me of settling you. But all he needs is just some time. So be patient, he will surely settle you. For how long? Michael, tell me. For how long am I going to wait? He was supposed to settle me a year ago. He asked me to wait till Easter. Easter has come and gone. Where is the settlement? And now you are telling me to wait again. Michael, it's not possible. I will not wait. I will not wait. I will not wait again. It's not possible. I cannot wait. John, you don't have to shout at me. I am not shouting at you, but I'm telling the truth. I will not wait again. That's what I'm saying. Ah. John, I tell you, you must have to wait. Okay. Now, listen. Nelson has assured me of settling you come this Christmas. So, relax. Don't be in a hurry, okay? You know what? Just go back to the shop, okay? Everything will be fine. Have you finished? Have you finished? That's what, that's what you tell me. That I should wait. You can wait. John. You don't need to hurry or anything like that. Lady Bridget, my sister. You don't have to be angry. It is not all over yet. See, 
I have not submitted the list to the parish priest for his endorsement. We can still do things to your own favor. Eh? All I need to do is talk to one or two members of the executive and your name will be there. Don't worry. Sepra, I'll be very, very happy if only you can do this for me. I want to assure you that I will show my appreciation in a very special way. Huh? Thank you very much. Lady Bridget, I say you should not worry. No problem, just trust me. Trust Mrs. You. Annika, trust me. I have trusted in you, we shall see. Okay. Thank you very much. much. No problem. Bye now. Bye bye. I'm of the opinion that this list should be worked on before forwarding it to the parish priest. Mrs. Teresa Okoye is not qualified for the good mother of faith title. She is not. That's my opinion. Thank you. What are you saying? We all sat here together as a committee and made up this list. And now you want to change your story? I have read it properly and concluded that Lady Bridget Alon is more qualified and she be given that slot. Yes. She deserves it. Mm -hmm. Well, I am sorry, but it is impossible for you to unilaterally change the decision of this executive committee. Yes. Yes. Says who? I say so. I, Kalika Nebolusa, I will have it here. I say so. Not in this church. You can practice that one in your house. If you have anything against Bridget, just go and sort it out. Can you say you just jealous? Yes! Put you I'm your not pointing your finger at you. Of course. When did you enter this Enough of that! Enough of that! Enough of that! What can you do? Enough of that! I respect my chairman. You're very lucky. I'm standing up and you're still talking. Can you imagine? What is the meaning of this? She should answer that. I said, what is the meaning of this? The secretary should answer that question. We are supposed to be mothers, not cows in the motor park. Oh. We all selected those people on their basis of commitment. That's what I thought. And devoted mercy in the service of God. Yes. That's what I thought. And that selection came after thorough analysis. An empirical finding. Exactly. Yeah. Without taking this further, that selection remains valid. Thank you. And to be forwarded to the parish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have I made myself clear? Yes. 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 clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. But why is the secretary against me? Why? Mrs. Bridget. <laughs> she is so desperate over that position. Really? It's quite possible. <laughs> In fact, I think she has bought her over. Bought her over? Inside the church? Look at you. <laughs> there are a lot of things that go on inside the church, more than you can imagine. Really? I think I know why they, they, they have the courage to treat you with such contempt. What then? <laughs> That's a discussion for another day. But relax. Hmm? Relax. Just go. Uh, it's already done. Go on with your preparations. All right? I am assuring you. Just go on. You are already. You hear me? Already. Ezine. Go on. Go Carry on. Hmm? Congratulations. Good mother of faith. Thank you very much. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Canister. Go and prepare yourself. Yes, I we are coming to that. eat and drink and <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh. My name is Mary.
that the portion of the Bible which says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord was specifically addressed to me. <laughs> I'm saying this because I have found in this woman not only a wife, but a friend, a mother, a burden bearer, a helper, most of all a true lover. Thank you very much, my husband. <laughs> Thank you. What else can I say? If I have a thousand opportunities, I will still choose you as my husband. <laughs> My fellow members of Catholic Women Organization, I have enjoyed a sweet marital life with my husband and my brothers-in-law. As you will notice, I do not have a housemaid. My brothers-in-law have helped to make my domestic work easier. Thank you very much. They may be naughty sometimes, but that's why they are men. <laughs> yes. I want to thank you very much, my lady, Lady Calista. My ever chairperson, good mother of faith. Thank you very much. <laughs> our organization. Thanks for coming and thank you for this wonderful honor you have given to me. God bless you indeed. And bless, and bless you. you. <laughs> well, without wasting further time, I would like to use this opportunity to present to you my little gift of appreciation. Mother of faith, here is your car key. And if you don't mind my disrupting your whining and dining one more time, can we please step outside and behold? Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Just come, let's go. Come, come, see me. Come on, 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 come
I still do not get your drift, Lady Cow. I'm talking about your childlessness. What other solutions do I have? It's only God that gives children and at his own time too. That's true. But God helps those who help themselves. It's time you took your destiny into your own hands. I really do not understand you. Hmm. You don't understand? Really, I don't. Tess. Tessie. Yes, you get out of this situation you're in. Hmm? What do I do? My husband and I have gone for medical tests, time without number. The doctors keep saying we do not have any problem. We have even traveled abroad, did the same tests and the answer is still the same. We do not have any problems. Take a step further. Calista! What? My children, it is okay. Let us not get this family segmented. I know what it took me to build up this family since your father died. Please, you are all my children. Nelson, the truth of the matter is that John is due for settlement, and that's why we are all here. So, what can you say to that? Mama, all I am asking is that John should be a little more patient. You all know I was duped four years ago, and since then, I have been trying to beat my business into shape. I know what to do for him. Just give me more time. Um, John, you heard what brother said. Just be patient, okay? I know sooner than later he will settle you and everything will just leave. Michael, did I hear you say patient? And did I hear some more time? Eh? Of course. Didn't you hear him say he needed some time? Michael, I'm so disappointed in you. Were you not here? When John was supposed to be settled, and he next requested that John should serve him one extra year. One extra year. At the end of the one year, what did we see? He bought a beautiful brand new car for his wife instead of settling his brother. Things on her part, things becoming, uh, taking the title of mother of faith in the church is the ultimate, the best thing that can happen to her. And you are here talking nonsense, supporting them. Obun, what just what are you saying? Exactly what you heard. Is it a lie? Did you buy a car for her? Mind what you say. What is it a lie? Is it a lie? You said I'm telling you a lie. Listen, Obun. So do you think it's think it's by shouting that we're going to settle this matter? But do I have to do Don't ever talk to me like that. If I settle this matter, come on. Don't worry about my junior. Don't try. What's your problem? Don't try. Don't try. Don't try. Don't try. Don't Honey. What? Honey. Nelson, please, do all you can to settle your younger brother. Okay? All right, Mama, I've heard you. Let me attend to my wife. Brother, you promised to give me some money for my textbooks. He's not giving me yet. Every time you see why in your mouth. Nah, 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 Don't talk to me like that. Why shouldn't I talk to you? That's Yes, what is it? Me, I can't believe that you just brought me to the village so that you and your brothers can just use me as subject for your discussion. I can't believe it. Honey, it's not what you think. Sit down, sit down. Look, we were only trying to sort out John's settlement. And it could not be done without mentioning my name. I mean, how could your brothers pass such comments about me. Have I done them any wrong? Why would they always use our timelessness against me? Why? Honey, it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry about everything, okay? Don't take it to heart. 
Remember we are in this together and I'm not complaining. Don't take whatever that never do well Obumleme says seriously. His life is as good as wasted. He's a frustrated hunter. So you don't expect anything good to come from him. Okay? Okay. Honey, I want you to do me a favor. Just mention it. Take me back to the city. At this time of the day, it's almost 4.30 p.m. I don't mind it. I have to get out of this place. Please. Okay, get your things ready. Very soon I will be leaving to the city. John, sit down. John. Yes, ma'am. When you get to the city, try and respect Nelson and his wife, please. Mama, I will now. Eh? Don't look for anybody's trouble. Beg, please. It's okay, Mama. I've heard all you said. Mm -hmm. Mama, I, I want you to do me a favor. Please. What is it? Mama, I want you to take good care of yourself. Mama, I'm sure you've heard what he said. Always take your drugs. Mama. 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 Your tribe seems to be behaving well these days, but today it looks different. What's, what happened? Mama, some days are like that. Today no cash, no sales. Came back empty-handed. <laughs> okay, don't worry, my son. Hmm? Tomorrow is another day for you. Amen. Amen. And I will get a big cash. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be leaving. Really? I want to tell you that I'm leaving to the city. Oh, God. And, mm. huh, yes. Today, no couch, no sales. I don't have money. Not even in the house. Oh, what do I do? And my brother is going to the city. Say, what do I do? Money. Brother, me! Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, now. <laughs> Anyway, just manage this and let me keep this, eh? Thank you very much. Use okay. it to buy whatever it will, we can afford, okay. even if it's a bottle of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, huh? Are you not encouraging him to take alcohol or what? Why not? Okay. Is he not a man? But I don't think that advice is good for him. Uh, no, alcohol is good for the system. Of course. It's just the excess of food that is bad. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you go back to Messi's house, make sure you obey and respect him. Yes. Okay. Very important. But if he does anything bad to you, don't waste time. Not even a minute to let me know. I will. Okay? Mm. But first, you must try as much as possible to be nice, respect him, and obey him. I don't want any trouble with him. Take care, okay. brother. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, my brother. I would do exactly as you said. So, <laughs> Chuma, to the road, eh? Just take good care of yourself, eh? I will. Mama, you will be all right. Mama, it's okay. Uh, John. When you get to Lagos, eh? 
Buy me that city bread. City bread, I like it a lot. City bread. Same journey. Mama, it's okay. Let me draw my gun. Come in. Brother, you heard Alvaz, a man gave to you. Hmm? Just take things easy. I believe one day God will grant you your heart desire. It's okay, my little sister. Everything will be okay. And you remember to pray always, right? I've always been doing that. It all hinges on what I've been trying to tell you all this while. If you don't take care of your problems, nobody will. If your in-laws still consider you an outsider, it is up to you to change it. Up to you. Lady Kanista. It's not just that I'm a Christian mother, but a lot of people look up to me. This problem has gone beyond putting other people's feelings first. This is your life, your marriage, your future. You don't secure it, you lose it forever, my friend. No, I think your fear is the fear of the unknown. But I'm telling you, as a good friend, don't worry. Hmm? It will be all right. You will never regret this advice I'm giving you. What again? My conscience. Forget your conscience. You have a goal to achieve, and that's number one. Don't worry. Look, nobody needs to know. Listen. I will link you up with a man who's not only going to cherish you, but will protect your good name. Trust me, my friend. Go home, go home, go home. Your problem has been sorted out. Go and smile. Eh? Smile, you don't have any problems. in my house with music now go and put up that music did you hear what i said i said go and put up that music go and put up that music Now squeeze my hand and push me into the chair just because I said you should put up the music that was deserving my morning devotion. No, it's a lie, you. It's a lie. We wanted to up my music, but I prevented her from doing so. Will you shut up? You prevented her from doing so? John, you even have the guts to tell me that you laid your hands on my wife? Are you mad? Simply because she asked you to put up the music so she can do her morning devotion? You are becoming grossly insolent in this house. And I'm not comfortable with that. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Again. 
Okay, please. It's okay. Please, it's okay. Don't take it to heart. Okay? Thank you. Oh my God. Before I get to my room, I want to see you back in your room and stop being a nuisance. She said she had traveled with her husband Peter. No, she was at the last meeting. She didn't travel with him. Okay. I even heard Peter is back. Oh, I see. Yes. I want to find out from her the new date for our next book meeting. Okay, no problem. I'll just wait for you in the car while you go and see her. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> I said we must leave such. Now that your things are out, you are next. You can do it. I'm not. I'm not leaving I'm not leaving I'm not leaving I'm not leaving here. I'm not Yeah. <laughs> 
stop crying and let's move into the song first. Get up, get up. Let me come and cry the more, eh? It's okay, it's okay, stop crying. Let's move it. Can we sit down? Can you at least listen to us? Please? Be a man. Please sit down. Thank you. Thank you. You see, Mr. Ibe, you don't have to kill your wife because she has not had a male child for you. Children are gifts from God. It's also God that determines their sex. That when your three children are girls does not mean you won't have male issues. Moreover, you and your wife still have many more marital years ahead of you. You see, my Saibe, for you to obtain favor from God, should first of all appreciate what he has already done for you. Well, we all have our individual habits and it's only God that can help us stop the bad ones. Peter, I'm a man like you. But as you can see, my wife and I, we don't have an issue yet. But I have never laid hands on her for once. Never. Let alone sent her packing. So please, pay heed to what she has just told you. I'm sorry for what I have done to my wife. It is the devil that pushed me to do that. In that case, you have to find a way to resist the devil. All you have to do now is go out there, apologize to your wife, and bring her back into the house. I will do that immediately. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> each and every one of us for our individual and collective donations in ensuring that this year Maureen Sunday was a success. I also want to thank in a special way Lady Kalista Nebolisa, the Assistant Chairperson of Catholic Women Organization. 
Mrs. Tesi Okoye, Mrs. Anne Oforma, and others for their special contribution in charitable organization like Modless Baby's Home, School for the Blind and Deaf, and so on. I thank you all once again. I would very much like to thank our able chairperson for that wonderful speech. Let's give her another round of applause. And we pray that our Holy Mother, the Mother of Christ, will bless her indeed. Um, I'd like to introduce to you, if you look around, you see that we have a new face in our midst, a new member of the CWO in the person of Mrs. Virginia Oko. Would you please stand up and take a bow? Whilst it is necessary to acquaint her with the responsibilities of a CWO member, let us use the same opportunity to refresh our memories and recommit ourselves to the ideals of this organization. Let me then remind you that a CWO member is always loyal to the Catholic Church, no matter what. A CWO member raises her children, organizes her family, does everything she does according to the doctrine of the Catholic Church. Let us also refresh our memories here and remember that we ought to be committed, loyal, submissive wives to our husbands. That also, in everything that we do, we must give honor to the mother of God, our own mother, the mother of Christ. We must honor her and give her her rightful place. Financially, we are committed to the Catholic Church. No matter the situation, even if it means you have to sell your valuables in order to pay your debts in the church, you must do that. Think about our priests. We are loyal to them and we recognize them as the head of our parish. As such, their welfare must always be in our consciousness. We must contribute towards that. Finally, a CWO member must be a good citizen of our country. Ndinemama!
Um, waiter. something to eat, but before then, if I could have a glass of red wine. Okay. And you? Fruit juice would be good for a start. Fruit juice. Come on, have some red wine. It's good for your system. Relax. It's okay, let me have the red wine then. Right, red wine first, yeah? Good. Oh, there's a Senator. Some time now. Yes, indeed. I would like you to meet my friend. Tessie, Tessie, this is Senator David. We call him the man with the eagle eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind your friend. I'm delighted to meet you, madam. It's my pleasure. Tessie. Yeah. That's a sweet man. <laughs> Thank you very much, Senator. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you call me just David. You are a beautiful lady. Thank you, Senator. Are you an ugly man, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, Oh, don't mind. Right, right, right. Oh, so I beauty, beauty <laughs> needs handsome. Perfect, huh? Is that what you say to that? I say, let's have a choice. This is not something. Are you blind? Is there the Bakare? Which one is the Bakari again? I don't blame you. All you know is money, 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 money. Oh, stop. Don't stop. Even stop. 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 Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, don't start now. I know where you're heading to now. That's why yes. I like Calabar people calling you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Joe. Hey. Hey. John. Now, what are you doing? Michael. Is the Bakari now? Are you not going to the church for the night vigil with us? Oh my god. I've already forgotten tonight is a vision. Uh, let me go and get my Bible so that we can go. Honey? John? Are you not coming with us? No, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have that strength. What do you mean you don't have that strength? Look, go and get dressed. Let's go for the vision. John! I said go and get dressed for the vigil now! What is wrong with that boy? If he doesn't want to be a Christian, let him go back to the village and, and worship idols. No, honey. He won't worship idols. God will still arrest him. He couldn't be worse than Saul in the Bible. God arrested him, so he will change. Let's see now, wait for them. What is still keeping them? Michael! John! Satisfied for a long time. Really? <laughs> you are the best, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You are wonderful. Uh, I don't know why Calista has kept you away from me all the time. <laughs> Hello, my lady. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll come to the office on my way. Yes. 
I said, don't worry now. Eh? I'll see you in the office. Yes, I will give you the whole details. It's okay. All right. Bye for now. Eh? <laughs> oh, lady girl. Hmm? Details? What details was she talking about? Not for your ears. You think I didn't hear what you said? You didn't hear I heard everything. You want me to tell you? Tell me. What is it? Tell me what. Okay, okay, okay. She said that my dummy is too big for you. <laughs> you didn't get it. All right, wait, 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 wait. He asks you how will I perform? Bye, bye. And you are a sweet girl. <laughs> so I guess it's right. Look so happy. <laughs> What's going on? Have a seat. Oh, something. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> the senator is a stallion. He took me on a marathon. I never knew lovemaking could be so enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you. I told you. Oh, you Tell did. me more. As it is right now. I don't think it will be easy for me to leave him, even if I conceive. That's it. The interesting part of it is that he commended me at the end of the day. Something my husband has never done. I am happy you're the one now telling me <laughs> eh, that this calls for a celebration. You're Rita! Right. Come on. Get me a bottle of stout. <laughs> Tell her what you're going to have. Get me stout too. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. Tessie, when did you start taking alcohol? Your senator friend has been spoiling me. He hmm? taught me how to drink. <laughs> Good for you. You only have one life to live. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, let's drink up. <laughs> My dear, help yourself. Oh, right away. All right. So, we toast to the good life. To <coughs> enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> to getting what we want at the end of the day. Oh. <laughs> you talk. Add this to the ones you are already washing. And please be fast about it so you can also help me out with the car. Auntie Tessie, yeah. I cannot wash those ones. Why? I cannot. I will not wash your undies. I will not wash your underwears. I will not. Did I hear you well? Yes. 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 Jesus. How do you pay to stop? Talk to me like that. If you lay your filthy hands on me again, if you lay your filthy hands on me again, I'll beat you to a pop. Mm, I swear to God. Just try it. I'll beat you like a kid now. It's because I let you go scot free the last time you misbehaved. That is why you think you can rub shoulders with me. Wait until your brother comes back. Slay us. This woman, you stop me! Hey, I'm no longer washing again! I'm no longer washing again! Mua! 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 Hey, Mua! 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 Mua!
portion you're just coming back. Let's see you're just coming back. Don't ask me any question. Tell me why you embarrassed my wife. She asked me to wash her clothes, which I was doing when she brought her on this. I refused to wash them. I said I will not wash them. Next thing she did, she slapped me. Can you imagine? She slapped me. But it's because I'm respecting you. I would have skinned, but I would have skinned her life. I would have beaten her up. How can, how can she slap me? How can she slap me for what? For what now? I see. Congratulations, John. In fact, a handshake for that. You would have beaten her up. You would have skinned her alive. You have the nerve to stand before me and tell me that you would have beaten up my wife without the slightest fear or respect. John, I am running around toiling day and night to raise money for you to start up a business. I am struggling hard so that your life can have a new meaning and all you think about is how to beat up my wife? I think I have had enough of this insolence. Go in there right now, pack your things and go back to the village right this minute. When I'm ready to settle you, I'll come to the village. But brother, right this minute, not one word from you. I don't want to hear anything. Are you going with your bag? My brother sent me out of his house. Why? What did you do to him to warrant his action? His wife asked me to wash her clothes, which I was doing when uh -huh. she brought her on this. Can you imagine? Tessie wanted me to wash her on this. Then I refused. The next thing she did, she slapped me. Tessie exactly. slapped me. When brother came back, uh, she told brother everything and he threw me out of his house. I have to go now. John, you see what I've been telling you? You see what I've been telling you? No matter what, she's still your madam and you don't have that respect. The respect of washing her on this, Michael! Me! You can call it whatever thing you like, okay? John, we'll go back to that house. Nelson and I will find a way of resolving your... No! 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 No, I'm not going back to that house. Oh. Me, I'm not going back to that house again. At least my mind is still alive. I'm going back to the village. I'm not going back to that house again. I won't Let stop you if you insist. I insist. I'm not going back to that. No, nah, I go to that. Well, send me well to Mama. Tell her I'll be coming back to the village next week to see her, okay? All the time. You'll be supporting now. You'll be supporting now. Let me go. You'll be supporting now. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Yeah, madam. So my mother was on what happened. He sent me out of his house. I don't believe Auntie Tessie could do anything like that to you. What did Brother Michael do when you told him what happened? What could he have done? He was blaming me. He said that he's coming to the village next week. And my brother Michael even took sides with uh, Auntie Tessie. Can you imagine? Hey. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh. Mama, is it just that? Mama, stop calling me. I know I 
violent today, see. She's not a violent oh, woman. No, but we know the full story when Brother Michael comes home. What are you saying to okay. you, Michael? I'm only saying the man should stop crying. Ah. <laughs> Mama, it's okay. What is Robin? He went to check his trap. I think he's here. He should be on his way now. Send John packing from his house. That is a problem. Something packing. Is that why you people are crying and looking as if somebody died? Huh? John, sending you out of the house is not a big deal. Provided he settles you as agreed in our last meeting. That is the problem. That is the problem. You did not even give me a dime. Huh? A dime. A day after tomorrow will make it one month he promised to settle me. Got nothing! You did not give me anything! Not money! Nothing! I mean nothing! Mama, this is not a crime matter! This is not a crime matter! Do you hear what I just said? Mama, listen! Let's see two days! Two days to comply! I'll settle my brother John! Even after two days, he did not come to settle John! I swear on my side! By the time I finish with him, nobody will agree we came from the same room! Mama, do you say your enemies? Yes, my enemies are work. I'm not your enemies, mercy. Mama, I've been missing two days to come and settle down my brother. Two days. Even after two days, he did not settle down. Mama, by the time I finish with him, nobody will agree we get back to both of us. I finish. Let him not come after two days. that is responsible for this. We never see anything good in his or her life. This idea of hunting is not favorable to me at all. Look, why are you complaining? Huh? Is it because your trap did not catch any animal today? Or is it because of this one? No, huh? bro, no. Uh -huh. You can say I'm going without anything. Are you complaining because of this? Some days are like that. I thank God for my brother. Who said I should leave the village and join him in the city? Serious? <laughs> I will leave you. You should leave the village to the city. Of course I'm leaving. But I thank God for you. Hey, my brother. At least you have another brother that is responsible and very caring. Uh, he is. As better. for me, it's better I don't have another brother than the type I have. Honestly, it's better. That reminds me. What about your brother? Which one? Which of them? Your elder brother, Nelson. Nelson, that one, ha, that one that doesn't want to know anything about me. Ah, uh, you know that my younger brother now, John, uh, John. that served him uh -huh. and is long overdue for settlement. He has not done anything about it, not to talk of helping me. Ah, uh, please forget what? about that. You don't mean it. <laughs> so how do you plan to better your life? Or are you going to continue being a hunter all your life? Ah, uh, well, no. Uh, I will, I'll make some savings from the says on my couch i tend with time i have enough to buy a bike mm -hmm. and i believe by the time i ride the bike for one year at least i should be able to have enough money hmm. to start up a business on my own no matter how small it's better for me i wish you luck honestly i need all I the luck i need all the luck by next week uh, i'll be in the city with my brother Hi. In search of greener pasture. <laughs> I envy you, my friend. Oh, but when I get there, I'll come back for you. I'll take you to the city. Ndoka, 
and make you rich as I'm going to be. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the car. You'll be such a nice no, friend. Thank you on yourself, eh? Hey, thank, thank you, you yourself. very much. I look forward to it. Uh, hey. Now, uh, we're almost at your home. Yes, uh, yeah. just by the corner. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, you take care of yourself, eh? Please, eh? Say hi to your mom for me. Thank you very much. Well, you're not leaving today, No, no. So, we'll see you soon. Okay. Well, thank you, eh? Okay, take, take care, care of yourself, eh? Yeah, she's inside. Okay. Tell her I'm around. Okay. Oh, Tessie! <laughs> Tessie! 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 Tessie. 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 <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Hey, good to see you. Thank you. It's like you're about going out. Yeah, I'm rushing out. So I have a meeting with the Commissioner for Works. This is one or two contracts I'm pursuing. <laughs> My God, bet you hustle around a lot too. What do you want me to do? Hmm? My husband is dead. I have two children in the federal school. How do I make ends meet if I don't hustle? You're right. You're very correct. <sighs> Lady Carl, I have something bothering me. What is it? Is it your husband? Mm -mm. It's this issue of pregnancy. All this while I've been going out to the senator. I've not been able to conceive. I'm beginning to think that something is really wrong with me. I don't think so. Maybe you've always missed the target. How? Have you been meeting him when you are, you know, ovulating? Oh, Lady Carl, <laughs> you talk as if I'm still a little girl. Of course I do, but no results. Listen, Senator David is a real man. You confirm that to me yourself. So just be patient. Sooner or later, you're going to be pregnant. I know it. I hope so. You know I have so much confidence in you. <laughs> Do you still enjoy the relationship? Oh, tremendously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember the last time we were together. It was peak fun. I had a mm. wonderful time. Don't let the enjoyment cost you the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> come, 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 come. I gotta go. I'm working out. Everything will be alright. Maria! I'll be back soon, okay? I'll be alright. Thank you, my dear. This is this thing. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Michael, good evening. I thought you had gone to bed. Yes, brother. But I just came back to tell you I'll be going to the village tomorrow. The village? Yes, brother. Is everything all right? Yes, brother, everything is all right. It's just that I want to see my man then uh, spend the weekend with them. Ah, that's very thoughtful of you. That's nice. Well, when you get to the village, Greet Mama. Tell her I'll be coming home next week for John's settlement. I have to do that. But one more thing. Don't forget to tell her why I sent John back to the village. Sure. I will explain to her. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mike. Greet Mama for me. Tell her I'll be coming to the village with my husband to see her. Also remind her not to relent in her prayers, as we discussed. Sure, I'll tell her. Well then, have a safe trip. 
Sarah, thank you, brother. Okay. Good night. Before you go to bed, let us say our night prayer here. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirits, and they shall be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, brother. Good night. Michael is such a mommy's pet. Well, it's very thoughtful of him to want to go to the village and spend time with her. It's very nice. I like it. Yeah, he's always wanting to go and see Mama and see how she's faring. Colossus, my Colossus. Dinoscopy! Dinoscopy! Oh, my brother, glad to see you. Jesus Christ. Man, this is a dream. I don't want to wake up. You're not dreaming, man. It's me, Dan. What are you doing here? Um, I'm waiting for a bus. I want to go and see my mama in the village. Um, so, where are you heading up to? Well, I'm just cruising around town. Actually, I came into town to sign a business proposal with our Shell Petroleum. It is a lie! And for the moment, I'm lodging at Sobidon Hotels and Suits. Dan, are you telling me that this Jeep is yours? Then this car? Of course, it's one of my cars. The least even. Michael, my hotel is very close by here. Why don't you join me? Let's go there and have some chat before you travel. Wait, Dan. Are you asking me or telling me? Ah, no problem now, let's go! Danoscopy! So me. How has it been when I walk? To be honest with you, life has been very hostile with me. Ever since I finished my youth service, no job. As if time was running against me, I went into business. But to tell you the gospel truth, I hardly take three square meals. So, what kind of business do you do? Oh, I deal on tires and rims, cars, accessories and stuff like that. It's okay, it's okay. You know what? I gotta help you to fix a better job. Because you made a second class honors upper division. So, that's a very good result, okay? Honestly, Dan, I will appreciate. Don't judge, don't bother. What so, are you friends for? Hop in, hop wow. in, hop in, man, hop in. Let's hop go, in, Dan. Hop. My Colossus, my Colossus. Wow. This is a moving house! Yeah, man! Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Anything the matter? 
Senator David at the hotel. Oh, is that all? That's the big deal. Come and wipe your tears. There's nothing to that. Oh, we can sort that out. Come on, you just need to talk to him and make him uh, not say anything. Don't worry. Wipe your tears. Oh, I thought it was something more serious. I know Michael. He's one of those types that do not believe in hiding evil. He will definitely tell my husband. And that means trouble for me. I'm in trouble. Where is he now? Where is he? He must have gone to the village. He said he wants to go and see Mama today. I don't know what brought him to the hotel. I don't know. I'm in trouble. Tessie. Now I know you're not one to jeopardize your marriage, right? Not at all. Okay, now listen to me. You will go to the village. You will have a word with Michael and try and convince him. Use everything you got. Now should he prove difficult? Hmm? We will have to deal with him. And don't worry, I can take care of everything. All I need is for you to be Hearted. What do you mean, Jim? With him? Hey, Calista! Good. I'm finished. Sit oh, down. God. I'm finished. You will do what you have to do. Oh, God! Hey, Calista! Oh, God! Honey, I'm on my way to work. Okay. Honey, there's a problem I have to attend to urgently. What is it again? I thought I gave you some money yesterday. It's not money. It's your mother. My mother? Yes. What about her? I had a terrible dream about your mother, so I need to see her urgently. Okay. Um, I need to go to the village myself in two days' time for John's settlement. Maybe we can go together. I just have this business transaction to seal up with my associates from Holland. I told you about it. You said so. I need just today and tomorrow to take care of that. Maybe you can wait. I wish you allow me go. I just want to make sure nothing is wrong with Mama. God forbid, nothing will go wrong. In that case, maybe I should go with you. The business can wait. There's no need for that. I can handle it. Moreover, I'll call you on phone if there's any need for that. So I shouldn't bother? No cause for alarm. Okay then. I, uh... 
I kept some money in the drawer, I use it. In the meanwhile, greet Mama for me. Tell her I'll see her in two days' time for John's settlement. Okay? So, sure, honey. In the meanwhile, you have a nice trip. Further problem by announcing her to send John home first. Though he promised to come here and settle him here in the village by next week. While all these things were going on, Michael, what did you do? I went mean, How do you mean what did I do? How do you mean? So you mean the watch nurse send out his own brother out of his house and he could never do anything? Nothing at all. What could I have done? What could I have done? Mama, the house is not mine. My girl, I am ashamed of you. You are the most stupid person I've ever seen in my life. You, Michael. I beg your pardon. Abum, if not because of my brother, I would have taught you a lesson you ever lived to remember. Michael! Abum Neme is your elder brother. You should talk to him with respect. Hey, eh? Mama, please stay out of this. Abum is unable to realize and understand his position in this family. That is why he always talks rubbish. Oh. Michael. You talk rubbish. Imagine you. Do a brain like you. Do you have anything in your brain? Do you have anything okay. in your brain? Do you know what your problem is? Frustration and illiteracy. And you know it. Okay. You sound frustrated? You heard me. And you call me an illiterate? You heard me. Now what else? Now tell me, had it been you smelt the four walls of the university, you wouldn't have been here shouting, ranting, like a wild Rottweiler. Michael, if I had not, had not paid your school fees and given you money for handouts and accommodation, Michael, would you have been a graduate today? Michael, even when you are not able to get a job and contributed financially to the business you're doing now, oh, Michael, sorry, you're making mockery of me because my shop got burnt in the market fire incident. That's why you're talking to me? If not, what would have given you the opportunity to talk to me the way you're talking to me now? I don't blame you. You ungrateful fool. Abu? Yes, you are ungrateful fool. How dare you call me and you call me? How would I call you that? How would I call you that? Come on! Come on, 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 come on! I refused. And I know why I refused and came straight to see you and Mama. John, we would have followed Brother Michael to Nelson's house. Maybe your problem would have been Daisy would have been solved here and there. You don't understand. Uh, I understand. You so don't understand these people, especially Brother Nelson. He never goes back on his book. Especially what concerns his wife. Take it inside! Please, John! Please, 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 please,
<laughs> How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Look at you. <laughs> Bad. Are you too? Yeah, How about yeah. your husband? My dear, we are fine. We are fine. Are yours? Fine. Hey, we are yeah. fine. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Are you just coming from the city? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm just coming. I hope all is well. My dear, your brothers in law, Mike and uh, Obum, uh -huh. they almost keep themselves. Uh -huh. What? No, we thank God that it's um, elders running and got them separated. When did this happen? Just yesterday. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. What was the cause of the fight? Eh? My dear? I don't know. Dear? Yeah. Oh God. I hope no one was hurt. No one was hurt. I even saw Michael. Uh -huh. uh, that your farm uh, near that uh, palm tree plantation. Okay. Uh, Oh, he's there. Uh, he's it's there. actually my husband, my father-in-law that has that practice. Hey, yes. hey, yeah, that's lovely. Uh, he said he wants to go and inspect the pantries and see if they are ripe or not. Hey, uh, it's okay. Uh, Let me go and see Mama. Uh, okay, thank you. Hey, much is okay. Take this bread. Sorry, I didn't buy much of my hmm? for me. Thank God. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I thank God, oh, Father. I thank you. Our ordinary bread. Akwangwa, you said ordinary bread. You will see this up in the village. <laughs> Look at you. I know. Huh? Like this one is thank for God. you. Thank God. Come now. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm thank, thank, you. thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Let me go and see Mama. Do, do. Hey, uh, thank you. Bye bye. Hey, uh, bye bye. Ah, Jesse. What are you doing here? Have you told anybody what happened? No. Why do you ask? Thank God. Uh, Michael, please. I have come so we can talk things over. Please. You see, I could make you one million naira richer. And I'll make sure my husband stuffs your shop so very well. Please. Is that all you can say? Listen, Tessie, if you have any apologies to make, it should be made to your husband. You see, I'm not the type that sees any evil and conceal it. Though I've not told anybody because of the problem I had with Abum yesterday. You had a problem with Abum? Oh, we fought. See, uh, Michael, please forgive me. I promise I will never do it again. It was the devil that pushed me into such an holy act. You know my problem. I am childless. I needed desperately to become a mother. To make your brother happy. Please, Michael. I wouldn't want anything to break up my family. I love my husband. You know it, Michael. I love your brother. So please. I am sorry, Tessie. It's too late. Mike. I thought you would see reason if I approached you. But I can see you are very stubborn. Look at me. You may think I'm a soft woman. But I am not. I don't care whether you are soft or hard. I only feel sorry for your husband. When he realizes how you've turned yourself into a cheap whore. Wait till I get to the city. Michael! 
Tessie, I will not have anything come between me and my husband. Tessie! No, Tessie. Who did this to you? Mike! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Somebody help me! Ah! Oh! 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 I am finished! I am finished! My own brother! Oh! What? Hello? What is it? Ah! They have killed my brother! They have killed my brother! They have killed your brother Michael with you! Yeah! How can oh, I have why now? Why did you carry the quarrel to this bush? Ah! Somebody help me! <laughs> how dare you lie? Oh, I can lie! Oh, I can lie! My brother Michael! Michael, wake up! This is an abomination! Let's go! Let's go! Michael, let's go! Let's go! Michael, let's let's go. go. Uh, what is that? Can no. someone help me? Oh, my oh, God, I oh, him. Oh, oh, no. oh, has killed his brother. No. Hey. 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 I could have hey. killed Michael. Jesus. I could have killed Michael. I did not. Hey. Hey. That's true. I did not kill him. I did not kill my brother. Oh, oh, no. Why? Oh. In a very good man. Oh. Hey. I did not. I could have killed Michael. He's alive. Shut up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, how are you? I am fine. I'm so happy you are healthy and sound. I've been having bad dreams. Hence, I came to see you. Oh, well. You can see I'm fine. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, come, come. I got something for you. What the nurse in my son? Everybody's fine. Yeah. I got all this. For you, my sweet mother. Oh, this is for me. Yes, Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are a very good woman. Hmm? Thank you, Mama. I pray that God will one day bless you and my son with a, a child. Thank you very I'm much. I'm Babu. I'm Babu. Uh-huh. Okay. What is it? Mother's trouble. Why are you running like somebody pursuing you? Mama is dead. Jesus! 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 Who told me that? He said, yeah. They said I'm shot him to death. And they have taken the cup to go to his palace. Hey! 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 Hey!
Silence. Silence. People of Omonza, I greet you all. Thank you. What happened today is an abomination in the history of Omonza. There has never been a record of this. And this matter must not be taken lightly to avoid the repeat. My people, when I separated the fight between Obunema and Michael yesterday, this is the I know that Obunema would come back and to kill his brother Michael. This is terrible. For the interest of those who did not come early enough, I now ask Obaka to narrate what happened this morning. My people, we were in the farm today when I suddenly had a gunshot and a shout. I ran towards the direction only to behold Obun Nene with his gun with which he killed his brother. Hey, 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 hey. I started shouting and people gathered. Oh, God is power. God is power. I say the truth. I did not care. I also had the ghost shot at the south. I rushed to the direction. Only to find out that it's my brother, my care. How could I have killed my brother? I did not do it. Hey! Hey! I did not kill him. My good people of Omoza, we should not take the laws into our hands, especially in a case as dicey as this one where witnesses saw the shocking and heart-rending brutality based on this fact we don't want to follow our tradition the law enforcement agents have already been alerted our answer is that Justice must be there. Oh, very good. Where they are? Yes. Where they are? Young man, please this way. This way. You are welcome. This is the young man. He says he's not guilty. Please take him away and do all you can to get the truth from him. Young man, you're under arrest. Corporal. Corporal. No, justice. Justice. Please, 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 I did not see my brother Mike. And I know my God will vindicate him. Oh God. Go, 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 Your Highness, be careful. We'll get back to you. Sorry. Yes. <laughs>
So pray for the soul of our brother Michael that had just departed, that he may obtain pardon from God that he so much desire. Lord, we pray for your clemency for our brother Michael. May the soul of our brother Michael Okoye and the souls of all the faithful departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And may they rest in peace. Amen. God be with you. Please let me say something. Go ahead, Mama. Say what you want to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say. I want to say. <laughs> Michael, you are my son. I will continue to be my son even though you are lying still dead here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's equally my son. Although he said he's not responsible for your death. <laughs> Michael, my son. May your spirit continue to hunt and keep your mother as restless until the whole truth is revealed. May your soul rest in peace. Amen. <laughs> This is a check for 500,000 naira. Add it to whatever Michael has in his shop. From now on, what was Michael's is yours. All right? Okay. My son Nelson, thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm? My sons, when you get to the city, Try and stay in peace. Live as brothers and don't quarrel. I don't want to hear stories again. All right, Mama. Nelson, don't forget your mother and your sister, Jim. All right, no problem. Um, please, let's... Uh... Mama, this is 50,000 Naira. I'll be coming home from time to time to see you. And please remember, if there is any problem whatsoever, send Chinwe to me in the city. Thank you. Auntie Daisy, thank you. I know you and Brother Nelson will never forget us. Auntie, please, continue to take good care of John. And continue to accommodate him. You know he doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> Don't worry, my dear Chiwe. Johnny has no problem. Remember, men will still continue to be boys. <laughs> and what will women continue to be? Women will continue to be more than. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we heard it all from her. <laughs> Thank God I didn't say it. A penny for your thoughts, my dear. Auntie, this is what of my own. Don't worry, Johnny. I have a big surprise for you when we get back to the city, okay? Okay. Well, Mama, we shall be leaving early tomorrow morning. Always remember all that we discussed. All right. 
And let me hear from you soonest. Hmm? No problem. All right. Don't worry. Everything will be all right, okay? okay. We'll be coming back soon. Let's yeah. visit one or two. Okay. Your yeah. food will soon be ready to right. when you come back. Oh. John, <laughs> sir. Yeah, mama. The attitude of some of our members in this organization is very unbecoming of any members of CWO. We are all Catholics, committed members of CWO. As the chairperson of CWO, I vowed never to allow sentiments be clad my emotions. Neither will I support any form of jungle justice. Before we pass judgments to any of our members, we must make sure that the allegation is thoroughly investigated and the accused duly notified. To cut the long story short, Mrs. Catherine Udensi fights with her husband in the two-room apartment where they live. She quarrels with her co-tenants. Mrs. Udensi, stand up. CWO. Mrs. Udensi's behavior is very unbecoming of any members of CWO. She is a notorious gossip. Mm. And she has been caught sleeping around with a man who is not a husband. Only oh, Mary. Can she be worthy of a CWO member? Oh. Mrs. Uh, Angelo, should you stand up, please? Mrs. Angelo Suji is a staunch member of CWO, right? Yes. Well, Madam Staunch Member allowed her daughter, gave permission for her to marry a non-Catholic. Tell me, is that the behavior of a true member of the CWO? No. no. I rest my case. Nine ma'am. So, Mrs. Catherine Udensi and Mrs. Angelo Suji are now suspended from this organization. <laughs> and they will receive the rest punishments from the church authority. Please, can both of you leave us? And let this be a lesson to us all. The law is no respecter of persons. You break the laws of the CWO, you suffer the consequences. Yes. Ndinne mama. Mary Nelson. Oh, shall we pray before we disperse? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Well, it's been three days now since we all came back from the village. And I'm sure every one of us has had a good rest. As we all know, Michael is no more. And we pray that his soul may rest in perfect peace. Amen. John, this is the key to Michael's room and all his other keys. You can pack your things there. Honey, I nearly forgot. We kept something in that room. Oh yes, that's true, that's true. Um, John, give the key to your auntie to pick up something for me. You can take it to my room. Sit down, John. John. You're entering a new phase in your life. Now that you've been settled, I want you to be very hardworking. Riches can only come when you're ambitious enough and 
prudent in your spending. Please stay away from women. Otherwise, they will cripple your business. And that will mean going back to the village to farm. And I'm not sure that's something you want to do. Thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate it. Listen, it's just your imagination. There's no blood on Michael's portrait. Look, look, look. Mm. I know how much you loved Michael and how close both of you were. Come, let me take you to the room. You need to rest. John, please bring this cat into my room. Eh? Let me take your auntie to my room so she can rest. Good evening, madam. Good evening. How may I help you, please? Yeah, um, I am Dana, Michael's friend and uh, classmate. I have come to check on him. Oh, Michael. Yeah, Michael. In fact, uh, I have come to inform him uh, about the share contract we discussed last week. It has paid off uh, and uh, he's needed for a job interview. As a matter of fact, uh, I want to introduce him to um, uh, the company's MD if I go back to states. Oh, my God. Madam, is everything all right? Michael is dead. What? Oh, what a pity. Honey, what is it? Oh, Hello. Michael's Good evening, friend. sir. Good evening. Uh, How are you? you must be Michael's elder brother? Yes, you're correct. Oh. I am Daniel, Michael's friend. Well, see. Please sit down. Yeah. He just told me Michael is dead. That's correct. Michael's death came as a shock to all of us. In fact, we're still trying to recover from it. He told me he was going to the village and the next thing I heard was that someone shot him in the bush. We just concluded his funeral. I'm really sorry about that, okay? Please take heart. Oh, shit. I just came to check on him. It's really sad. Please take heart, okay? Accept my sympathy. Thank you. Oh, Michael. What a world. Thank you. I have to start going, okay? We see some other time. Just take it easy, okay? No problem. Uh, everything gonna be alright. 
Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, please take heart, okay? came back from work. Yeah. You really are working too hard, honey. You need some rest. Mm -hmm. Maybe next week you'll attend the crusade with me. No problem. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. Have a lovely night's rest. It's okay. Let me go and drop you. Then I'll come back and rest. No, 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 honey. You don't need to bother. I'll find my way to the church. No, it's okay. I'll go and drop you and then I'll come back and rest. Very much. You are the best in the whole world. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. So I'll come and pick you up in the morning. No, 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 honey. You don't need to bother yourself. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Is it not risky? It's not. Uh -huh. Take care of myself. I love you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Good night. See you when you come back. Yes. kept you so long? You know I have a meeting at the state house. I remember. You should have come earlier so that we have enough enjoyment before I leave. I'm sorry. I was occupied by something. But don't worry, I'll make it up to you. Mm, it's all right, my dear. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing is that you are here. Uh, but uh, then, I don't like your dressing. You look like someone who is going to the monastery for prayers. <laughs> <laughs> your guess was right. <laughs> I was actually meant to be in the church for a vigil. That's, uh, yes. that's so? Yeah. Right. But watch me transform.
you like this? Ah. My darling, you are full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm meeting for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we start? Floor? The bed? The floor, of course! <laughs> but first of all, you have to show me how much you can see me. Vigil. Quite explosive, honey. Really? Once you were there. What happened? Ah, that visiting priest. I'm sure he must be a Monsignor. His sermon was torching. Mm. I wept as I listened to mm. him. I marveled at the signs and wonders he performed. I wish I had gone with you. <laughs> you really missed out, honey. <laughs> <laughs> His message was directed to the barren and the less privileged oh, in the society. How touching. I was overwhelmed. It must have been a memorable experience. Quite memorable. It's okay. Come, come, come. You're very tired. Let me go and run some water for you so you can take your bath. Come, come. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now that you do, I'm well refreshed. I think we should go and have breakfast. Yeah. After you. Ah, thank you. <sighs> <laughs> you prepared this? Anything for you. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. I saw that you were tired, so sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next 
time, I will not hesitate to go with you to the vigil. <laughs> Baby. 